All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start the cookie cutter process using the cookie caster. So I got my white cardstock right here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw and design my cookie cutter. And I've actually decided to use some tangram pieces. I figured that's something that a lot of schools have sitting around. So I'm gonna go ahead and piece these together and try to come up with some sort of design. All right, so not very creative, but just for the sake of this tutorial, here's my little tiny Christmas tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace this now. Now, you don't have to use any sort of tracing. You can just draw whatever, but I just thought I'd use the, 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 some of these pieces to create this. So I'm gonna go ahead on my paper and we'll go ahead and draw this now. All right, so there it is. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a picture of this and then I'm gonna get into Cookie Caster and show you what to do next. So uh, let's go ahead and snap a picture, make sure it's nice and clear and easy um, and as much of a contrast as you can possibly get. All right, so here we are. We're on the Cookie Caster website, cookiecaster.com. And once you got your picture loaded up to your computer, you're just going to go right here to draw your custom cookie cutter. And you can do a variety of things. One, you could actually just draw right here. Like I could actually just draw some lines the way I want. And I could just create my own Christmas tree. But what I like to do with kids it has them draw 2D first because that's easy for them and it helps them make sense. But they could experiment this way and you can stretch out your lines and make things go all goofy. But let's go back to what we talked about. So I'm going to go to this trace option down here and I'm going to upload my image. And so I'm going to go ahead and select that now. And that is 9221. There's that beautiful Christmas tree. All right. And now that we've got that, we can go ahead and trace. And it just kind of does it for us. And we can trace that. And there we go. I can go ahead and change this here to, I like the extra thin, the one millimeter. Or thin, it works out pretty well. There's a height. You can adjust the height there. And then the different sizes of what you want. So I'm going to keep that right at three and a half. That seems to be fine. And then boom. I can download this file and then I can load it up to my printer and I can print it off and away I go. It's that easy. And you can see up here is the op is what the printer will the 3D cookie cutter will look like. So you can take kind of take a look at that. And I can see that this side is a little bit shorter because my drawing wasn't perfect. So I can actually just pull that out there a little bit, make it a little bit nicer. I could maybe shrink this down here a little bit so it doesn't and we get a little bit more of a tree little look and feel. So I can just kind of play around with this a little bit. And just kind of see. And it's that easy. So this works really well if, you, if you're working with younger kids. So the other great tool that you have down here is this right here, this magic trace. So this trace allows you to do it by hand. This one down here. But magic trace will do it for you. So if I click this... And I just go right here, check this out. There it is. I can get that out of there. And it's automatically traced for me. And then I can make that happen. And so this is pretty cool if I want to do this. So if I want like a Lego minifig, because sometimes you get some of these, these intricate designs. Um, and you don't want to do all the tracing or it becomes pretty hard to do. And so what we can do, it's going to reset here, is I loaded up a picture of a Lego minifig. So if I upload this into my desktop or into the cookie caster, like this could take me a lot of time to trace. And so what I can do here is I can magic trace. There it is. And I want to maybe extend that. Perfect, just like that. So there's the outline of my 3D print. Um, I might want to go through here and maybe get rid of some of these. It's not terrible. And um, we can go from there. 
So the idea is for you just to experiment, tinker, design, see what happens, see what you create. And Cookie Caster is a great little entry level point to get some, some prints printed nice, quick, easy. It's good for younger kids or just kids that are just getting started. And once they build up the, the confidence, then you can move them into Tinkercad, you can move them into Vectory, you can move them into whatever the platform is that, that, that your school or, or program chooses to use. So guys, I look forward to your designs. Be sure to share. I hope this helps. And let's go make some awesome cookies and create the new generation of creative cookie monsters. Go be awesome.